Hi guys, I've just been warming up. Me and my dad have been playing table tennis together. Warming up just before today's game. But anyway, let's get outside. Let's get the shout outs and tea news. Let's get this match day started. Hey guys, World of Lewis here. And today, got another video for you guys. And as you can see where we are, we're in the back garden, we're at the wall. Uh, so that means we're back on another match day vlog. And there's two things. Number one, it's not freezing. Oh, it's actually it's three things. Number one, it's not freezing. Number two, it's sunny. And number three, where's the snow? There's no snow. It's the first official vlog in this house without snow. I know. But, as I said, it is match day today. So, we've got a good game of football. Now, my United recent things haven't been going well. We, The last time you saw me, we played Bournemouth along 1-0. Very, very scrappy game. Then we won 2-1 against West Brom. And then we lost 2-1 against Bristol City in the Carabao Cup. And then we drew 2 all at the King Power on Saturday. So, and now we're playing Burnley at Old Trafford today. So, how's how's today going to pan out? I don't know. Are we going to win? Are we going to draw? Are Burnley going to shock us with a win today? I don't know what's going to happen. So, yes, guys. Burnley today at Old Trafford. So, without further ado... Let's get shout-outs on Team News in. So, what should we start with? Team News. United could be without Chris Smalling, who pulled up late in the draw against Leicester. Valencia is likely to miss a third game with a hamstring injury. Eric by Michael Carrick and Marwan Fellaini remain absent through injury. And for Burley, James Tarkowski is bad. Chris Wood will be assessed, while Stephen Ward remains a doubt. So, yes, guys, time for the shout-outs. You've all been waiting for... So, shout outs to Amash Satani, Manchester United Vlogs, Gary S, Numers, Elliot Tian, Christian Mariani, Scott Kent, and Chris Johnson Adventures. And also, we we hope you are having a peaceful and relaxing Christmas. It is a, oh, I forgot to tell you, it is a Boxing Day fixture. I hate Boxing Day fixtures. If you have Christmas and you have to, have to uh, watch your team work really hard to win. Right, so that is it. 14 is a shout outs. Other than that, Kickoffs at three o'clock, so it's it's Tuesday today, but it feels like a Saturday, doesn't it? It really does. Cause we've got a twelve thirty kickoff, a three kickoff, kick -off, and a half five kickoff. But anyway, let's just pretend it's a Saturday. So kickoff three, we'll be off to Fat Jackets, the place where spuds or potatoes, whatever you like to call them, are grown or bought basically to go in people's tummies, just like mine and World of Wars dads basically. And then we'll be off to see Claudie. Then we'll get badges. And then, and then we'll get inside Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams, to see Manchester United versus Burnley in the Premier League 2017-18 season. So yes, guys, let's do this on another cold match day vlog. Boom. <laughs> Guys, we're in the car now uh, on the way to Old Trafford. Got a little bit of thoughts from World of Lewis' dad here. What do you want to say? Yeah, uh, obviously, very still, still disappointed with what what happened at Leicester. Uh, never mind what happened at Bristol City. I mean, that was that was another another thing altogether. We watched both matches on on uh, Sky. On Sky. Sat around the table. You know, the table could have got destroyed. There could have been windows broken the other day. It was, it was defending, defending so late, like we did. You know, we couldn't get back into either game. But why didn't Smalling just leave Go the field on. and then just bring a bring a man back into defence? I, mean, I mean, basically, when 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 Marshall got that pass, I'm not going to come because we had loads of chances to go. I'm not going to complain Marshall about that game because it was a bit of a sort of heavy touch and what have you but you you should be putting that away and Marcus Rashford when it comes to you don't go about right Schmeichel has two things he's tall and he's a good keeper yeah it's just like he's done any so, why, so he can, he can yeah. block you out but why would you want to go around the player just chip it over him it's not I mean when, I can, when you look at when you look at when you look at the replay he could have quite he could have quite easily just have chipped over him. Yeah, could, he could have gone for a penalty. I mean, when Lingard hit the post, it was just when he went round him all right. It's just the direction it's, of the it's ball. It's the old situation where we're not taking angle. our chances. And, and Rashford towards the end, you know, take it to the corner, waste some time. 
you know, Martial, I mean, just just play the game out. It's just, it's just. I know Mourinho said it, but yeah, it's immature, and and, and we we drop points. Uh, we went out to Bristol City because we couldn't we couldn't see the game out, um, and we, uh, we we dropped two points through. Child, like he said, childish errors. But at the, at the back, when that Bristol City guy lobbed it over, I mean, why wasn't the defend? Why weren't the defenders reading where the ball? Of course, he was going to chip it over, and somebody was going to go through and score. We're not reading the game, so we are where we are at the minute. You know, we've won since our last floor. We've won one, lost one, and drawn one. But yet again, we're talking about disappointment. I mean, the thing that we need to focus on now. I think the league is finished. I think City are gonna win the league and what we need to focus on now is saying that second place though it's like from fourth place to second place in the Champions League you could have like just like Tottenham did you could immediately slip within games and the most annoying thing is because Chelsea were the third like right behind us and the thing is when they drop points and we have easy games that we should be putting away, away we don't win we always do that though we've always and then when they win we win situation. which is the most well it's good but it's a very annoying uh, and today, obviously, we need we need three points against Burnley. But it's, it's not going to be easy yet yeah. again. But you know, there's, there's teams. You know, Chelsea have got Bright, I think it's Brian at home. Liverpool have got three points nailed on against Swansea at home, or you, you'd like to think so. So we, we've we've got to keep we've got to keep winning our games to to remain in this situation. Yeah, City City might have a blip. They might lose. They might lose again. They might draw a game. The right when they're not on, they're not on, on on game on that particular day. All we've got to do is continue on in, in winning our games. You know, we've got Southampton at the weekend, and then we've got uh, at home, and then we've got Everton, Everton away. So it's a couple of tricky games. But you know, we're talking about Burnley, Southampton, and Everton, who you know, the likes of City have probably put four or five past. We're struggling to win games by one goal to nil at the moment. I know. So, that, that's why today the atmosphere, you know, what's it's it going to be like? It's boxing day, it's cold. We're, we're, we're 14 points behind City. We're out of the Cup against Bristol, we're out of the Carabao Cup against Bristol City. I mean, I'm only hoping things aren't Things aren't where we need to be for, for Man United as a club, so yeah. uh, are we going to get behind the team today on, on, on in the terraces? I don't know. I, you know it's, it, it's, we're we'll going to get behind the team if, if we start to get entertained. Dad's, one of his dad says we can't really. Um, how far we're going to get in the Champions League? We're, we're not. Yeah, we, we can we can scrape past Sevilla, but beyond that, if we get a team that's like Real Madrid. Yeah, you know, if we get a team, Barcelona, Juventus, Real Madrid, you know, PSG, the likes of that, we're, we're uh, at present four will steamroller us. So uh, at the moment we're, we're we're good enough to progress beyond be, 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 beyond severe, but nothing more than that. But that represents where we are as a club. We're second. We're, we're in second place, and we're and what we're, we're place we were in last season, and we're playing better. Well, I know we've Point, yeah, those, points wise, you know, but, draws, you know, but where we are is where we are, uh, and the fact is, City, City are, are well away from us. So yeah. let's let's wind this vlog up now, uh, or this particular part yeah, of the vlog. Because, let's uh, get to Old Trafford. Let's get that potato in. Let's go to the ground via Claude, Saxman, whoever else wants to appear in this video. I must say also that we didn't have time to uh, to print off a picture for the uh, Take Me To Old Trafford bit that we've, we've stuck in this vlog. We'll, we'll, we'll probably do that uh, on the Southampton game on Saturday. So apologies if we're not taking anybody we to... We have got a few away Trafford. matches coming up. But yeah, we, we, have, we have actually got an away game. We've, we've got two to, away games and one more. Oh got, yeah, we, we, we're going to Everton. Uh, going to Everton on, away on, on the first. Uh, on then. New Year's Day, and then we've got tickets for Burnley. Actually, Burnley away. Burnley away on the twentieth uh, of so, January. Yeah, so yeah, it's a busy. Don't busy forget month, to so. turn on notifications so you never miss those uploads because they're going to be yeah, fantastic yeah, uploads. Yeah. Right, we're out of here. See, we're out see of you here. soon. See you soon. See you at Fat Jackets. <laughs> What do you want? Here we are at Fat Jackets again.
a drink for tonight? Right guys, I had some turkey yesterday. I've got a potato here. See how it tastes. Get into it. Not this one. <laughs> Right guys, let's get on that bridge, let's head to Old Trafford. Right guys, look who's behind me, he's back, Christmas chair, got 50 pence, let's go to Saxman. Which makes six pounds, see what time it is. It's clear time. Hey, up, young man, you alright? Yep. Good. How are you? You alright? Hey, up, Steve, you alright, mate? Respect. Bit, you alright? I nearly didn't come today. Got, yeah, I got a bit of a virus on it. Yeah? Yeah. Picture, I've been working in uh, Lincoln for the last week, yeah. just in the town, you know, selling Christmas and stuff. And I think because I've been getting hot, cold, hot, cold, because I don't get ill very often. And then no. it's Friday, Saturday, so it took me all my effort to come here today. It really has. Do you, you want uh, a violin or a full orchestra? Uh, nothing. <laughs> 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 nothing. <laughs> I'm and just telling you. I don't station. want any sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't want any sympathy. <laughs> it's just one of them things. He, you know? he turns up. He turns up when the weather's awful. He's here today. Yeah, I'm here. Which is all, I'm which here. Is all that matters. I'm here. Like I say, when I when I woke up, it was like it can't be that time already. You know, when I went to bed last night, I thought oh, I'd be all right by the morning. Yeah. Are you here? Are you here on? I'll be here Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, I'll yeah. be. I'll be. I think the only game I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure on. I think um, is when they play Huddersfield. I think it's February, February, it? or February. March. Because it, it clashes with a rugby game. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I think they might be playing Italy. And if they play, if Wales play in Italy, then I'm, I mm. probably won't bother. I'll, I'll probably come here. Come here. Yeah. yeah. But if they're playing. If it was somebody like, uh, if it's a big team, yeah, Australia, South Africa, yeah, Australia. South Africa New Zealand. I can't remember which because they played, yeah. they played South Africa, they played New Zealand, they played Australia. But I know there's two. There's a game in March, a game in Feb. I just can't remember who it's again. Yeah. Well, I know one's Italy. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I'll probably, I probably won't bother with that one. Yeah. Probably come here, you know, Huddersfield. So. Prediction. Prediction. Quick, quick prediction. Uh, what are we? Oh, we're playing. But it's like I said to Mike earlier, the. Burnley are doing all right, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, no, and they're one of those teams where they can get steamrolled two by one. Tottenham, and then they come here, and then suddenly yeah. they shut yeah. shut up shop. I'm going two, I'm going two one. So two, two one. I'll have a look yeah. at your vid to see if I'm right or not later on. Think about the problem. Yeah, you're from Singapore. Uh, Right guys, so we've got a match day one and we've got a 50 years 1968 European Champions one. Okay, 
guys, let's get the search, let's get it to the ground. Today's double deal, six pounds for the double deal again. Yeah, it is a... Right guys, let's have a look at today's view. And we really score predictions now with World of Roost Dad. What's your prediction this afternoon? Uh, oh, 2-0 United. Uh, yeah, 2 0 United, even though it's probably going to be 0 0 after about 18 minutes, and then Mourinho suddenly think, oh no, I've got to win this game, what should I do? Should I take good players off and bring them on? Bring on me mediocre players? Uh, am I going to show any emotion? If we do win, probably not. If we score, am I going to sit there with my hat, with my arms folded and just let uh, Rui Farrier dance around like a demented reindeer? Probably. Uh, uh, having said that, yeah. he it's might just smile. I'm going for 2 0 no United. I'm going 2 1 United this afternoon. I mean, Burnley are a good team. They're going to give us a challenge. I think every single team that's come here this season so far has given, given us a good go. Bournemouth came here and they gave us a real go. Really, it was a very tough game. Uh, today, Burnley gave us a good game, but I think we're going to. I, I think, Again, the Leicester game, people, uh, the players are just going to think, right, we've got to win this with 75,000 fans here. We want to give the fans something to cheer about on Boxing Day today. So I think, that, I think uh, they're going to want to win today. But I think Burnley will score today. But I'm going with a 2-1 United. But anyway, come on, you Reds. Right, guys, let's have a look at today's teams.
dangerous area, it's not going to cross, it's going to go for goal for me. to Burnley, that's my thoughts. My prediction is going the opposite direction. It's absolutely unacceptable. Uh, we're, we're, we're just not a team that are worthy of a top four position at the minute. Uh, no, no inventiveness. When someone's got the ball, there's nobody running, I mean, running yeah. to get the ball off them. 
you know, the, you know the, there's no hunger there. M Mourinho, I don't know what he's saying to them, but it's like a hobby for Mourinho, this, because we're not, we're not a team. They, they look like a team scared of going forward. It's, they've got no ideas, they've got no ambition, they've got no shape. Rashford's just in the poorest form of his life, but we're not seeing any, uh, we're not seeing any runs. We're just seeing. I mean, that first goal, I said, this is going to go in now, and it did do. You, know, you can't right. give free kicks away and everything else outside the box. And, but it's a great free kick. Yeah, admittedly, the, the two goals that they've scored have been good, but you know what we're doing at the minute is just suicide, football suicide, and it just typifies where we are at the minute. What, what is the second half going to be like? I absolutely don't know. I barely bur shoot shooting this way second half, so it'd be really interesting to see how they play. Most United goals have come from second half football, so what's we are going to say to them at half time? What short dice can say to the players at half time? No doubt Mourinho's going to be really serious about this, because on form, losing to Burnley April at home is not one of the best things, really. We've just got to improve the second half. We, we've got to, sh the players have got to show the fans that, that, that you know, got, but yeah, exactly. The second half has got, has got to be better. Everyone has to work 100%. Always should work 100%. Anyway, half time. My night nil, Burnley.
I'll, t I'll take a point. I will take a point today, but I, when, when, you, when you think about it, it's not great because we, we, we really needed the win today, but I won't buy the draw. Um, yes, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't, don't forget to turn the notifications so you never miss a World of Loose upload on the World of Loose channel. But for now, take care. I'll see you on another match day vlog. See you later.